I am really excited about what I'm going to show you today. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while, um, which is push notifications that I can push to my desktop or my mobile device and in a free and open source way that I can, can host myself. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, the client side of things and in a future video we'll look at video side of stuff. I want to thank uh, Mr. Newbie, he's a patron of mine who pointed me to this. Every time I've tried to look up stuff on this in the past, all the tourists are like, oh, you have to set up a Firebase account and then do all this stuff. and it was just, I want something that I can host myself. I want something that's free and open source, easy to use that on, on all devices. And that's exactly what this is. Notify, SH, notify. So the website here is ntfy.sh, but it's pronounced notify. And it's a service that they provide, but you can also host yourself. And it's a, uh, a client that you can actually use tools like Curl or an application they already have. But of course, you can always just create your own as well. Again, today, so far, I've only messed with the client side using their server, which is publicly accessible that you can use for free. But I read over the tutorials uh, and documentation on setting up your own server, and it's literally download binary, put it where it belongs, set up the config file, and run it. So I haven't done that yet, but once I do, I'll do a video on that. But I'm going to show you how easy this is. Um, and just, just to explain, it's just like you can send notifications of anything to all your device, and they're push notifications, so they're instant, they don't have to wait. So right now, I have a lot of things that I want notifications of. Uh, that I send to my phone, and I usually use it as an email, but I don't check email on my phone, but I push it as a text message. I've talked about this in the past, and at least here in the United States, I can take your phone number, and if I know who your phone provider is, uh, I can send an email to your phone number, and it comes through as a text. So for example, if your number is 555-555-5555, uh, and you're using Google Fi, it would, your email address would be 555-555-5555 at fi.google.com. And there's email addresses for AT&T, T-Mobile, all the big cell phone carriers. And you just send an email to that, and it comes through as a text message. Um, that's great and easy to use. Can be a little slow, can take, you know, I've never had to take more than 5 to 10 seconds to come through. Uh, but it's only sending it to that device. And um, this, I want to be able to go to multiple devices with one command. Plus, that will only work on my phone that has service. I have other tablets and phones and computers that I want to be able to push the same notification to, and they don't have a phone number that I can email to. And um, yeah, so this is a great option for that. Something else I've used in the past is KDE Connect which is great, but that's more for, it does a lot more than push notifications, but uh, that's kind of designed to be on the same network. This is, you can have a server somewhere and they can all connect to it from anywhere in the world. Now I've talked enough, let's dive in. Sorry I, for that little intro, it was kind of long, but let's have a look at this. So again, it's ntfy.sh, so it's spelled, uh, pronounced notify. Super, super simple. Look at this website, okay? This is how you do things in the shell. So. This is to send a message to a topic, okay? So let me go into my shell here and make the shell full screen. So I have two screens here. Uh, in the top, I am going to run a curl command like so. This is their example. Now, I'm going to be uh, basically sending this message to their servers. Again, we're going to be using their servers, which are free. You don't need to create an account. There are topics, and the topic can be anything, but you want to make something unique because anybody who knows that topic will be able to access this. So their example is my topic, but I'll just call it Films by Chris. So now that I've done this, you guys will be able to access this, right? I do that, and it's now sent that message. So how, how do you retrieve that message? Well, you can do another curl command. Uh, so let me come down here. So in the bottom side here, I'm going to start listening. So I'm going to run curl-s, uh, their server. But if you set up your own server, you just replace that with your server. Their topic, so in this case, instead of FBK, which is what I was testing it with, I'm going to do Films by Chris. And I want the output in this case to be JSON. So I'm going to run that, and look, so now it's listening. So if I come back up here, and I run this command again, you can see it shows up down there. So I'm saying it to their server, and immediately it's sending this, and this curl command is going to keep on listening. So I can loop through that and listen. I can have that curl command running. Let's run a, a, another example. Uh, let's just run another, I'll just say... Test, 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 and there you go, it shows up down there. Let's go back to their website, and you can see that you can send more than just uh, a message. So with uh, this listening down here, 
I can run this command. And we're giving it a title, priority, some tags, and some information. So I'm saying remote host, you know, host name, blah, blah, blah. I can change that message to whatever I want. But instead of there, my topic, I'm going to say films by Chris. And again, the important thing to remember is there's no passwords and stuff. So this topic is kind of your thing. Uh, so you want, if you want it to be private stuff, you don't want something they're going to guess. But again, we're using their servers for free, and we're going to set up our own server in a future video. If I do that, and you can see it shows up down there. Okay, so we're watching it on our desktop. What about a mobile device? So let me come over here and turn on my phone. They have, of course I could use curl you know, on my phone, but if I was to come down here, you can see that's available in the Google Play Store, their, their, their phone app, uh, F-Droid, or even for iPhone devices. So I can click on F-Droid here, or if you have F-Droid on your device, and I can scroll down, and here's the APK. I'm actually just going to copy this, so you can download directly to your phone, and then click on the API, or use the F-Droid app, or whatever, whatever application uh, manager you use on your phone, you should be able to get this. Uh, I'm just gonna push it over with ADB, so I'm gonna say ADB install, and I'm gonna give it that file, and now over on my phone, I now should have uh, their icon. And no, wait, wait, where is it? Oh, there it is, right there. So I'll click on that and it opens it up. Currently, I'm not listening to or subscribed to any topic. So I just click here. Again, if you set up your own server or if you're using somebody else's server, you just click use another server and you put in their uh, server address. But I'm just going to put in here films by, oops, by Chris because that was our topic, right? Now I subscribe. And there you go, it's actually showing the messages that have already gone through. But let me go ahead and send another one. So I'll send this message again, but I'll change it so it says, test, test, tester, new. Look at that, it shows up there, and it shows up there. If uh, I did, wasn't in the app, we would hear and see a notification up in the notification bar. So my phone went, Doo -doo. so I got the notification. I can pull down here, and there it is and I can get rid of it just like any other location. Now let's go back and again, when we're not in the application, let's use the example that they had on their page here. So real quick, let's look at this. So we're gonna use again, curl. And of course you could use wget or whatever, but we're gonna send a title, a priority. We're gonna give it some tags, warning and skull. And then the message that we're gonna send, we'll go ahead and we will run that. I don't know if you can hear that, it did my normal notification sound, but now it's doing a, uh, it did three odd vibrations. It wasn't just like, it was like a, I hope that was entertaining for you that I just did that. So uh, with these settings and you can alert yourself so you know it's more important than just a regular notification. So you can set something on, on your server, or your computer at home. If something was to happen, you get a push notification and it doesn't just and you don't, you know, ignore it. You're like, oh wait, something's wrong. Uh, so that is great. It goes there. Let's go ahead and uh, look at this again. And of course you can go back into here and you can subscribe to multiple topics, but they're all listed there. And of course there's other settings if we were to go in here. Now you also will want to um, dis disable battery optimization to make sure that it's still running in the background. So you can just fix that now or whatever. I'm not gonna do it right now in the video, but just fix that and disable uh, battery optimization so that this application that goes, doesn't go to sleep in the background. Uh, you can also mute the notifications for a certain amount of time, read documentations, donate. Let's look at some settings real quick. I don't want to get too much in the settings, uh, but you do have some settings. Uh, one thing, you can record logs, backup stuff, restore stuff. Great. Okay, so we've looked at the app on the phone. And we've looked at using it in the shell and monitoring it with just something like curl. What if I just want desktop notifications, and I don't want to use curl. You know, I could set up curl to listen to it and then do pop-up notifications. Well, you do have an option. If we go back over to our web browser here and go back to their website, ntfy.sh, uh, we can actually just do here web app, right? I'm going to click on this, and it's going to list all things that I'm already subscribed to. I can grant permission so that my web browser will give me desktop notifications, because on a desktop you can do that. So, uh, you know, you can, as long as your web, I think your web browser has to be running in the background, which normally your web browser is running. You don't necessarily have to be at this page. You will get notifications on your desktop. You can see that I did some tests with, with FBK. You can unsubscribe to stuff. Uh, but let's say I wanted to see the ones from Films by Chris. Again, no usernames or passwords. Films by Chris and then I'll just hit enter and it will show me messages 
that we just sent through. Let's go ahead and send a, another message. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to run uh, this one, and I will say 1,000 test. Yes, I don't know. I'm just saying random things. We'll go back to the web browser. There it is. It showed up right away. And if I was to grant notifications, and I can say, uh, you know, let's just say forever on this one, allow. Okay. Now, again, there's different ways to do notifications. I don't know uh, if this will run, if you have to have the tab open or not, but you can always just leave the tab open. Let's go back and run that again. And look, look, I got a notification on my desktop using my default uh, uh, dunce is what I use for notifications. And you can see that it came through on the phone at the same time. So this is great. And again, I, I actually, I just realized uh, that down here, I can send a message to test from web. And it came through and it went through to the phone. So yeah, super easy to use. And right now I'm using their service for free and there's nothing wrong with that. You can feel free to do that. Just if you're sending private stuff, you're gonna to wanna to use a big long, you know, something people aren't gonna guess as the topic. Uh, but again, from looking over the documentation, it looks like it's super simple to set up your own server. So I'm gonna look into doing that and give you a tutorial on that. I hope you found this useful. Films by Chris.com, that's Chris with the K. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.